So I'm going to start by drawing my pumpkin on my rock today instead of going straight on it with um, like a paint pen, only because I'm working straight on a rock because this is a white rock. If you have a base coated rock, then it's okay um, to go with your paint pen because you can touch up with whatever your base coat color was. So I've drawn quite a few pumpkins for you guys. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself to you. I always start with my stem and then you do a football almost size shape as if it's standing on its side like this. And then we're gonna, you always go a little bit up, out and over. And I kind of like doing this with a pencil so I can have a nice sketch kind of line as I'm working my way around. And I always do three, or one in the middle and two to each side. So it kind of bumps up a little bit there. Wraps around. And then repeat the same things on the other side. I see a lot of people popping in. Feel free to say hi and where you're watching from. I love seeing those comments. It's amazing how far this rock painting community stretches. And I know sometimes you find somebody in your area, maybe. Find a local group. All right, like that. Here we go. So once you're happy with the shape of your pumpkin, if you ever are erasing, I highly suggest one of these white erasers. I never, ever, ever use the pink erasers at the edges of my pencil. So once you're happy with the shape, of your pumpkin, we are gonna go ahead and line our pumpkin. Now, for those of you that have followed the channel for a while, you may recall, I don't know if I ever, if I did it live on here, but we did a heart with this same style. It's actually what inspired this pumpkin for me today. I saw the heart tutorial and I thought, oh my gosh, that would look really cool for a pumpkin. So we're just going to get this all outlined once. Oh, I got a little bumpy there. Which is okay because we're actually going to thicken up these lines in our design. And we'll do a quick... Now, whenever I do my stem, I always draw it on first, but then once my pumpkin's here, I always curl the bottom of the stem, basically from the last split in your pumpkin, and then up to your stem. And we're gonna color that in black anyway. So see, you kind of curl in that direction, like so. All right, and then that's gonna end up being filled in in a little bit. Okay, so um, as you can see over here, I have a little doodle. I have like a few of these doodles because I was playing around with different things and there's really unlimited ways that you can do these pumpkins once you start to do them. We're gonna do them a monochromatic way. I'm gonna fill them in today with acrylic paint. This is actually a bright orange um, from Deco or Art, but you can use any orange that you have around the house. And I'm going to use my dotting tools to fill these in. So one end on this one is pretty pointed and the other one has a small dotting tool on it. Um, you could definitely use 1M Posca pens or uh, to fill these in as well. I've done those in the past. Um, so feel free to use what you have um, around the house. So I'm gonna go in and fill in each of these lines a little bit thicker and I'm gonna talk about something else while I do that because it's gonna take me a little while. So up here in the corner you see I've got a date, word pumpkin and the word rock stars. So if you're familiar and you know what I mean by my, the rock stars, I want you to get a post-it note and save this word pumpkin. Um, this is the end of the third quarter of the year which means all three tier levels on our Patreon account will have um, a chance to win a painted rock um, on the 24th. So write down the word pumpkin, that's your little clue. 
and you'll know how to use it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I left a link for that as well. And then I also have a few other pumpkins that I painted today. I've been on kind of a roll here at my house and I have painted, this is my one, two, three, fourth pumpkin that I'm doing today. Those tutorials will be added soon over on YouTube over the next little while, but you can kind of have a sneak peek. All right, whenever I do my um, curls on my vine of my pumpkin, I like to start in the same direction for the reason of filling in the space really well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, I always tend to go to the right as well, up and to the right, and then you're gonna loop down because then you can fill in that space on your rock and it's just good composition. And then when you come down to your pumpkin, you can loop up and over if you like to add another loop and then have it pull away and you're always going to have your vine be thicker at the top and it's going to small slowly get smaller so I pull out of my stem and thicken it like that just follow your line and just add to it all the way up and around and by the time I get to my second curl, I usually don't even go over it. There we go. All right. So there's our little vine. I'm gonna take my white here, just clean up. I've just got a couple little pencil lines here. Okay. Let's start filling in our designs. So I, I'm gonna use a lot of the ones that are up here. The thing is we're gonna stack our paint on top of the black, so don't be worried. Like I'll show you what I mean. So right through the center here, I'm gonna draw a line and I'm gonna draw a few circles and I'm gonna fill these in with orange paint. But since I'm gonna lay it on top with a dotting tool, I'm not going at it with the, like a brush or anything, it's very easy to cover up your other lines. So I'm just going to go in both directions here. Have some fun little dots. These are kind of like a little homage to my dangles. I haven't done a dangle in a while. Like that. Move it up as well. And I don't think I'll necessarily be going in the same order as on the other side here. All right, so I'm gonna start. I'm actually gonna do this pattern here. I wanted to do it closer to the center because as you get to the outside, I would think it would stretch more and I, I think it just looks better closer to the middle. So um, for that pattern, I always do three lines. So let's start going out this way. One, two, three and then you turn to a different angle one two three and then you can turn again so those are flat so we'll go this way one two three and then you repeat See, now you'll create these center stripes and those are the ones we're gonna go back with our orange here in a little while. I'm sorry, was that really low, you guys? I'm, I apologize if that was really low. Try to keep it up a little higher. All right, um, off on this next side over here. Let's see, which one do we wanna do? Um, I really kinda of like the way that this one, this one's off the screen, this one here looks. So we're gonna do that. So to do that, we're just gonna split. We're gonna go right down the center of our pumpkin shape. And any of these things, you guys, if 
If you're not sure about it, you can do it with pencil first and then go over it with your pen after. And also, if you do this on a base coated rock, you can, you know, use a base coat that you have the acrylic paint around that you can just kind of touch up if you make any mistakes. All right, so from here, we're going to create little arrows going up and towards the center. So they're gonna kind of curve their way down here. So I'm spacing these apart quite a ways, and then I think I'm gonna come back and split them in half. So for that one, we're gonna fill it in almost like a little checker pattern with our orange, and it'll look pretty neat. All right, over here, let's do some um, arches. So we're gonna start, the center of each of these is gonna be orange, and then where we leave negative state, space will be orange. So we're gonna go like that. And then the final one that we're going to do is maybe just this one here. You see this? It almost looks like a ladder. And then we're going to fill in. All right. So for this one, we want to have a line pretty much as close as you can roll or draw. Roll. Um, to your outer edge on either side and obviously they're going to kind of disappear at the bottom here so cut as close as you can without bumping it use that line as a guide take your time and then we're going to create a ladder so I am going to start in the center Work my way down and I can kind of start to curve there at the end. Same thing at the top. Now you could go through and create these designs just in black and white if you want to have a uh, black and white um, rock kind of looks cool like that but you would fill in some of these shapes so basically everything that I'm going to fill in with orange I am going to fill you could fill in it with black or really any color that you want to so I've just got my like I said I showed this off earlier it's just the bright orange from deco art and the neon pack I think it's not super like crazy shocking neon so maybe, maybe it's not from the neon pack. I'll have to look into that um, but I just shake it up really good so I end up with a good amount of paint in the lid. This just helps so I don't end up wasting paint. And then we're going to start filling in. So if you have asked any questions, I apologize. My nose is kind of down for this rock quite a bit. And so, sorry about that. I will come through and read the comments when it's all said and done and answer any questions. Um, I did leave a link for supplies in the post where you can get all the different things, dotting tools and stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and start filling in. We're gonna add this orange. Like I said, you're just gonna be laying it on top in a lot of these places. Look at those two kind of smooched together there. I will uh, fix that once they dry. I can just go right back in with, oh, I've missed one up here, my black. And take care of that. So I'm using a dotting tool. This is my favorite one. And you, to be completely honest, uh, it's like having a toothpick. You know those toothpicks that have the thick flat side and the pointy side? Those ones are great. Um, I just don't like to have to throw away a thousand toothpicks. So um, these dyeing tools are definitely something I've used a lot. So I'm gonna use the kind of toothpick side to do my stripes. And so I just kind of scoop it up on there and then you just can kind of lay it down and then kind of pull it to the edges. And I just find this really makes getting sharp edges a lot easier for me than to do a brush. 
So my head's down low, guys. I'm gonna be filling in here for a little while. And then in this section, we're going to do the center of the dot. And then we're going to fill in the leftover negative space. So you have two rings of white, and then this area is going to be filled in out here. So again, you can place a bigger piece. Kind of cool. I paint around from that dot. So we did this one, we did some like edging on it. It looks more like a patchwork style one. This one's similar to what we did, except I just did bright colors behind the sections instead of the white. So if you're working on a darker rock. And then this one I did, we have some swirls and I did it two ways. So maybe you guys can tell me below, what do you think? You like it better with black or gold? I like the gold to shimmer in the sun, but I think the black is more stunning when it has to sit still. So let me know what you think about that. All right, just a few more to go here. Thanks everybody that joined in today. Thanks for all the hearts, thumbs ups, and all that good stuff, you guys. I really appreciate you guys sharing the videos and um, all of your comments. I'll come back through and make sure I didn't miss any questions. Um, Links to everything I used today are above or below, depending, I guess, on what device you're on. And we'll be back next week with another live tutorial. Bye-bye.